Hello everyone. This video is long overdue since I've had this VR rig up and running for several months now. In any event, the topic of this tech video is to discuss the background of my entry-level VR configuration that leverages a Dell XE2 small form factor system that I picked up with a Core i5 8-core 2.6 gigahertz processor that I added 8 gigs of RAM to. I coupled the system with an NVIDIA 1050 Ti low-profile graphics card. Now, I know the graphics card is not the most powerful card out there, but the aim of this project was to come up with a rig that would meet close to minimum requirements for supporting VR while not breaking the bank in the process. If you wanted to try this out yourself, you could also use a 9020 small form factor as it is virtually the same as the XE2. So the NVIDIA 1050 Ti low profile graphics card chosen is by Gigabyte and it's very important as other graphics cards may not fit with the very tight dimensions available in the chassis. I also wanted to keep the form factor relatively small without having to go to a full tower size chassis to keep this easy to lug around. Another important note to mention is that the actual placement of the card is going into a x4 slot due to the space constraints when using a double wide graphics card. Naturally, this slot uses less PCIe lanes but still provides us enough performance for entry level VR functionality. In addition to an NVIDIA card, I also equipped the system with a wireless Belkin N150 USB LAN card. And you can see that in one of the USB slots. The VR system I've been testing is the Oculus Rift, and you can see all the various connections to the chassis via the HDMI connector, the various USB connectors to the USB 3.0 for the sensors and the headset. Another important note to mention is with regard to the software that Oculus comes with. You've probably already noticed that the software is quite particular about allowing itself to be installed without first checking several minimum requirements along the way. However, in this case, the software installed fine with minimum hiccups. Once the hardware was integrated together, I started off by using Windows 7 for the operating system. I was able to successfully run many Oculus platform games and Steam VR games as well. As we see here, I can launch the Dirt game that's run off of the Steam platform. If we look at the Oculus platform, we could see all the various games in the store, those that I've purchased that are in my library or those that I've downloaded for free. If I wanted to continue to look at all of the different devices that are currently on, you could see them there as well. Now let's try out a game, or at least a simulation. So when you first start the Oculus Rift platform, you have the option of going through a tutorial that shows you how to use the various controllers that come with the system. And it gets you started with a look and feel of how the system runs. We could also take a look at a simple demo that allows us to see how the height of a game looks when you're playing that game. And so this is very Blade Runner like and you could see that there are ships flying in the air. You could see that there are buildings and though you can't really capture what the headset allows you to see, you could still get the gist of it by looking at the screen. This system has been battle tested by various folks and I've also run a considerable amount of benchmarking just to make sure that certain minimum requirements are met by the system. Due to the limitations with minimum operating system requirements to play some VR titles, such as Minecraft, I upgraded the system to Windows 10, which is what we see here. The system has since been running reliably for several months, with several folks enjoying their first VR experiences on the system itself. All in all, I was fairly happy with the performance and user experience that I got out of this entry-level system. Because we're scraping the very edge of the entry-level VR system, I do see a this system does not meet minimum requirements for Oculus message. But this message, as far as I can tell, does not seem to have any effect on the gameplay or my ability to play the titles I've had exposure to. Thank you for your time.